How's it going my fellow captains? So in this video, I wanted to talk about why Airbus even considered showcasing the A380 Plus at last year's Paris Air Show. But in order to answer the question as to why Airbus even considered it, we need to have a little bit of a history lesson. You see, the problem of the A380 began long before the A380 was even considered for development. Airbus originally thought that it could predict the future of the market and build planes that would most definitely would satisfy the demands of the market. However, they were wrong. You see, the A380 Plus is Airbus's attempt to make the A380 more cost efficient compared to other long distance planes. They claimed they had an improved wing efficiency, 40 additional seats, a new IFE, and the reducing maintenance costs and schedules. Now, there are reports that Emirates placed an order for 20 of the new planes, but Emirates had one condition. Airbus had to sell the plane to other airlines because Emirates didn't want to be the sole backstop to the new plane. However, none of these changes that Airbus made address the basic A380 problem. The A380 is a commercially unsuccessful plane because its size allows only very few airports to handle it. It's expensive to operate and only reaps marginal profits when it flies full. You see, Airbus reacted to the medium and the large size planes. But let's be clear about one thing. Airbus designs and builds very beautiful planes like the A350. But the analysis department of Airbus had fallen short on quite a few occasions. Airbus for a while has been reacting to the market that they saw immediately in front of them and not to the market that could develop in the near future. At least twice Airbus has miscalculated the market and it's been very costly to them. Now Airbus launched the $3.5 billion A340 program in 2001. Boeing knew that twin engine aircraft could fly long distances and even across water and still remain profitable. In the process, Boeing's design was more cost effective to operate and maintain than the A340 and Airbus didn't believe it could happen. They didn't believe that a twin engine aircraft could ever do what a four engine aircraft could do and Airbus bet wrong again. Now the Boeing 777 sales were eating into the A340 market and Airbus became aggressive in their sales campaigns. They even persuaded the public that they would feel more comfortable in a four engine plane compared to a two engine one. They believed the A340 would take away their fears in case of engine failures, but they failed once again. Now Boeing launched the 777 in 1995 with an ETOPS rating of 180 minutes. This made the four engine safety aspect of the A340 essentially useless. Boeing has now delivered around 1500 777s and even the 777X has 306 orders for an aircraft that still has a few years left to come. Now since the launch in 1991, Airbus has delivered a lousy 377 A340s and Airbus has no plans to revive the A340 line. So what did Airbus think was the next good decision? Well, the A380 which was designed for the hub and spoke model. I mean the A380 is big and it's kind of beautiful at the same time, but it's kind of wrong also. I mean it's too big, it's too efficient and it's only profitable on certain routes. Airbus has delivered only 222 A380s and has another 109 orders to fill. And even some airlines are cancelling their remaining A380 orders or converting them to the A350. So why is this the case? Basically, it costs around $50 an hour to operate an A380. It costs only $44 an hour to operate the Boeing 777-300ER which has much greater route planning flexibility. Now the A380 Plus aims to improve the operating costs, but these efforts are very minimal. On the other hand, Boeing understands that the airlines would favour the spoke-to-spoke -spoke model. So Boeing designed the 787 Dreamliner. I mean it's quiet, efficient and cost effective to operate. It's designed to carry around 60% of the passengers of the A380, but has nearly the same flight range of the plane, and can operate at nearly every airport in the world. So far, Boeing has delivered 677 87s and has another 648 aircraft on order. Now, Airbus has tried to guess the A380 market based on all criteria and has been playing catch up ever since. But what's even worse is that in 2004, Airbus wanted to provide an A330 successor to compete with the 787. Airbus believed that the 787 was a weak reaction to the A330 and that it wouldn't successfully compete. Well, we all know what's happening with that one. The A350, however, may be a game changer. In 2006, the management at Airbus finally approved the A350 for development. 
The program cost around $15 billion and even though it was delayed, it stands as a good competitor to the 787 and the 777. I think that Airbus has got it mostly right with the A350. From the present indications, the A350 has gotten Boeing's attention, causing Boeing to return to the drawing board and revamp the 777 as the 777X. So to answer the question as to why did Airbus consider the A380 Plus, well it was supposed to tackle the efficiency issues that are affecting the sales of the A380. It was also supposed to fix the disappointing sales of the original A380 and they didn't want to increase the production costs of investing into the A380neo. I mean at the end of the day some would see it as an act of desperation from Airbus, but once the final Emirates orders are completed we could see the production line for the A380 close down most definitely.